Hello, my name is Andy Hatch and I'm the creator of Amazing Ants. Today we're going to do a quick little demonstration of a maze that I created for my game. And uh, this is a queen, defend the queen maze. Basically the object of this maze is to defend my queen ant from the black ants. As you can see the maze is pretty much I'm outnumbered. I have one launcher and the black ants have one, two, three, four, five, six launchers. So they're producing a lot more ants than I am. So for me to to win this maze, I need to clear the maze of all of the uh, black ants. So what I'm going to do is just first thing I should do is probably put a couple blocks right here, right where I'm at. By the way, I am the ant with the red circle around me. By putting those two blocks there, I'm going to funnel my ants over to the left here. And the reason I want them to go left is that to the left there is a blue launcher right down here. Oh, I just got the jaws upgrade, which is nice. Now with the jaws upgrade, I get an instant kill against small ants. So now I can activate that launcher. I'm going to put a block here, but I'm going to try to... Ooh, I got killed. My jaws upgrade uh, ran out on me. Sometimes the jaws upgrade will last a little longer than other times, but... Uh... Yeah, there was some sugar there exposed. So, what I'm going to do now is gamble here. Well, that was worth it. I took out that launcher, so now I've taken out two of their launchers. Now I'm going to target this one right here. I seem to have some good numbers here. So what we'll do is we'll we'll let take this block out of here and just sort of let our ants in there. I'll throw some blocks up here just to keep the ants from this room to sort of funnel them. You know, I could even put blocks here like this, you see. And this further, you know, you can drop a block on your friend, and then you can let him out after. It's not a, not a big deal. This is what I'll do. I'll funnel them. By doing this, see, I can funnel them in here. Oh, I might not even need to, because everybody's gone. There, and I'll throw another block up there and activate that launcher. Now it's very very important right now that I don't get into any collisions with with any small black ants because they will be sent back to the beginning and I do believe there is some black ants that started out in that one room with that big launcher so what I'll do is I'll avoid collisions and just sorta of let my ants do their work and I've got decent numbers now I can open this room up and uh, let my ants do some damage there's no longer a launcher in there producing black ant or black ants so my ants are gonna go in there and clear that area pretty good see there's only two ants left in there I'll throw a block here just to keep my ants to funnel them to the right Eventually, they will take that last charger ant out of there. And he seems to be kind of dozy. He took me out. Okay, now all the ants have been cleared out of this one room here. And it looks like there's no more, so what we'll do is we'll... Activate that launcher. Now I've got a rhino ant down here, and he's busy clearing blocks. And he's reopened this room here. But more importantly, what he's going to do now is... We're going to start spilling our ants down into the bottom here. See, he just, he's just plowing through them pretty good. 
he's cleared enough that I feel brazen enough that I'm gonna go in. Oh, I just about took out another one of their launchers. Now, basically, I'm gonna try to take out this launcher. And there, our dice roll was good there for me. And now I got that Jaws upgrade again. So we check the walls here for any gaps in the walls. There's one there. There, I've cleared all their launchers. You know, I'm not even worried about being sent back. They no longer have any launchers. And now I have, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four launchers. And so it's only just a matter of time before my numbers are going to get are going to overwhelm the enemy. Let's throw a couple blocks here and just basically funnel my ants into that area. Now, here's another way. I'm going to just oh, I got killed. I'm going to go into that room and well, I guess By sending those killer ants back to the beginning, I've actually, as you can see, I've sort of freed up a lot of room down here now. Suddenly there's a lot less numbers here to deal with. So what I'm going to do is go into one of these rooms here, and I'd like to activate. There's three red launchers down here that need activating. There's one right here. And that one will produce some large ants for me. Oop, got killed again. Uh, it looks like I'm probably not going to run out of lives on this level. Oh. What I want to do is to uh, is to go in here. We'll go in here, kind of, and uh, we're gonna build a little. Oh, I got killed again. What I want to do is build a small little area there around that launcher down here with blocks. See, by putting blocks here like this, you see, I'm going to run out of lives here before I get done this level. So my ants are slowly overwhelming him, but it's just a matter of time. There. And then I got one here as well. You know, it's just a matter of time before he's not going to have any ants left in this level anyway. But now I've got two more launchers going there. We go up here and get sent back to the beginning, but no big deal. We are in excellent shape now. Because he's got one ant left. Or what? No, two big ants there to the right and. Uh, one ant at the bottom so you know I can begin my search for the finish line we've got two different finish lines here one right here and I might as well let these ones out there's no point in leaving those blocks there the last ant has been cleared there is this the finish line so you know basically remember the old Wolfenstein where you check the walls And again, right here, again, no finish line. So the finish line must be around in here. Well, there you go. The finish line is right there. And as you can see, I picked up a couple lives. And there you have it. I beat a level in Amazing S. Thank you for watching.